Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video talking about some grip writing concepts and uh, the collar grind position, okay? So, first off, when you're understanding grip fighting, um, you know, when we're starting with no grips, I'm focusing predominantly on the guard right now. Um, the big thing is the positions you play will largely dictate what grips you can use. I'm going to talk a lot about the collar drag in this video, but I'm just going to loosely talk about the concept, maybe do a follow-up video more in depth on that. Um, but basically, I'm looking for some form of initial entanglement grip that I can develop offense from. And what that is will be uh, different for different people, right? If you have like a lasso game, and I can get this sleeve and fall back, I can build a whole game off of this lasso. But if you don't have a lasso game, that's not an option for you. And you don't have to have a lasso game. I mean, I can build my game off of a collar grip. Uh, if the guy leads with his leg, you know, I can build my game off of a single leg grip. If the guy, go to both knees, um, is on the ground, you know, I could build a game off of digging an underhook into this old school butterfly guard game. Um, so, you know, a lot of that will vary, right? Um, I'm probably gonna do a video in the future where I go through what I think are like the top 10 main ways to develop an initial entanglement grip. But I wanna loosely talk about the combination of looking for the sleeve and the collar and where the collar drag game fits in, okay? So go ahead and stand up. So we're here, um, often for me, I like to get a sleeve grip because I can build like lasso spider, uh, a lot of like omoplatas and triangles require you to have some control of an arm just because of the fact to get to a triangle or an arm bar, I have to have the arm controlled, right? So if I don't have that, it's really hard to get to those positions. So often I'll start the match looking for a sleeve with my right hand like this. If he's leading with his right leg, maybe I might start centered and kind of look for this sleeve so I can go to a lasso. But a lot of guys will keep their hands away, right? So I'm looking for a sleeve game and I can't build the sleeve grip game. So then the collar grip game comes in. Right, and this I really love building off this. They go so well together, like a good sleeve control game and a good collar game. So the guy won't give me the sleeve grip, so I'm gonna start progressing for the collar. The good thing about the collar game is not only do I, uh, from the collar, can I like jump to De La Hiva and build a game from there. I could try to go to close guard, try to go to reverse De La Hiva, but also you can attack directly with the collar, right? So I'm just gonna give you the loose whole collar uh, game series, okay? The first game this largely builds off of is a strong collar drag. So if I have the collar, what I look to do is kind of scoot out to the side a little bit. I'm gonna try to, you can come around the side. I'm gonna try to clip his ankle. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. I can just try to block this. I can try to kick the leg out. But basically what I wanna do is shift out to the side and turn and kick this leg out as I rip, right? So if I'm here like this, I'm moving around. He's worried maybe I'm gonna to go to De La Diva or jump close guard. And I just jump my hip to the side and I clip here like this. People will land very differently. Some people it's unexpected and then they like face plant, right? A lot of times, this is the, one of the most common reactions, coming around this side, there you go, um, is they'll land like this, and I have this strong push with the collar in my right hand, I'm just gonna single leg and drive with my forehead into his ribs like this, and it's really easy to finish. Even if you're not good at single legs or wrestling, it's such a strong position with the collar, it's really hard for him to defend, right? So I'm here, I get a little movement, I mean, I look for the sleeves first, keeps his hands away, I go to the collar like this. I move out to the side, I like to center up with my hips just a little bit before going. If you go all the way from your side to the other side, I feel like I lose uh, speed, right? So I like to be here, skip first, but yeah. I like to be here like this, right before I go, I get my hips centered, and I'm gonna try to clip this foot out as I rip, like there. See how I stay up? Because I'm quick to go here. If you fall too far back, it's hard to come up on that single leg, right? So I clip here, I get that nice press behind his jaw with his collar, I push and I drive my forehead in. It's so hard for him to defend, right? Turn back into me. So you use drive, drive, drive. Okay. So another thing that will commonly build off of this uh, is we're here, I'm, I'm going for the collar. Is he starts to anticipate the collar or the guy's really passive, right? Just in general, he won't give me the sleeve. I get the collar and he's really far back with his hips like this. And you get this kind of tension you feel uh, in the collar where he's kind of far away. And as he tries to posture up a little bit like this, it's really easy to push and take that ankle, okay? Now, depending on the guy and how he's moving, um, like if I start threatening this collar drag a lot and stuff, and I feel that tension, sometimes you can, they'll trip right off the, off the get-go. But again, that just largely depends on the person doing it and if they anticipate it. Usually, if they're uh, kind of worried about the collar drag, they really leave that ankle grip open, okay? So we have the uh, collar drag, we have the pull ankle pick. Make sure when you're doing this, you really have to be on your side. If you're here and like you're kind of pulling the collar to come up, you're not gonna have that ability to push him back. What you need is him to be backing up or have that like tension like this. And then I come up with my legs and push, right? So you should be able to go there really quick, right? If you're using the collar to bring yourself up, then you don't have the surprise of the push. 
So I should be here pulling away tension and then I go forward, okay? Another thing to keep in mind with this position is in general, I wanna to try to keep distance from him. The closer I am to him, he can break my grip and posture up like this. If I'm kind of far away, every time he thinks about breaking that and I back up, it's kind of like a deadlift, right? If the, if the weight is here, it's easy to lift, but if the weight's out here, you can't lift it. So I'm always trying to keep distance between me and him, right? So he's here, he starts to look for that, see I back up. Right there he goes, ankle pick, collar drag, and you can build off of that, right? Another thing you can do from here is you can just jump to the De La Hiva guard, right? So uh, if you have, a, again, if you have a good De La Hiva guard, this is useful. If not, then it's not as useful, right? But what it does is it gives me an immediate off the bat threat to make the guy worried about sweeps. And then I can also set up open guards I like to play. So maybe we're here like this. He's worried about the collar drag, the ankle pick. I'm just gonna bring my left leg on the outside. I jump and I grab his leg, right? Now I have a De La Hiva position. From here, I can start to build off this. But again, uh, if you see my videos and like how I view jujitsu with positions, it depends on how good I am. It depends on how good I am from this position, but I know this position inside and out. So from here, if he like grabs here, now I'm getting a sleeve and I'm progressing to a sleeve control. Often people will do that because they're trying to trap this leg. So he grabs, I get a sleeve, break, can push the hip out. Now I'm going here, boom, see? Starting uh, you know, with the grip fighting, and then you progress position to position, upgrade position, you get the different attacks, okay? So one more time, we're here, right? We have the collar drag, we have the ankle pick. I bring my leg outside, boom, jump the De La Hiva. If you're good at De La Hiva, you can build from there. All right, another really good series from here is just setting up the X guard, okay? It's very similar to the De La Hiva one, but instead of my leg being on the outside, I'm gonna aim it straight. I jump kind of like this, with the knee tight and my leg straight. It's almost like they're gonna mount me, but this in the way makes it like X guard. So I'll go here like this. I just shoot this straight right there. See, this will come to the hip and now I'm in single leg X. And again, you have to build off this position. If you don't have a single leg X, then it's not as useful of a position, right? And again, that's why I like to do everything by um, specific training or breaking things down into different positions because each of those are their own separate skill sets. I can show you uh, in one video how to set up closed guard, but then being good at finishing from closed guard is a whole separate thing. Or the same thing, you could be in closed guard and you get to the triangle choke. Uh, I can show you how to set it up, but if you don't know how to finish the triangle choke, that's a separate thing, right? So you isolate these things into different problems. Okay, so come up. Um, one more thing you could do is like, let's say that the guy is leading with his left leg. Okay, which will happen sometimes. Let me have that more back, like, left leg, there you go. Okay, so if the guy's more like this, here it can be harder to hit the collar drag because this near leg is close. So I have two options here. One is I can go for reverse scale Hiva like this and play from here, okay? And again, if you know how to play from here, there's a lot of things you can do. From this, I can try to just bring this foot out and switch over to De La Hiva on the good side, right? Or you can go from here, pull through, and start working for the back. Uh, one of my personal favorites from here is just I get the collar here, and I'm careful about not letting him get this grip, so as we're here, like you can like, not like this, um, here is I put my foot in the hip early, and what happens here is, Yep. I put the foot in the hip early, and what happens is he can't get rid of this without stepping his left leg back. See, he can't push it. Let's start pushing it down. I'm gonna leave your leg forward. He can't push it down now, right? Uh, come around here. Yeah. So he can't push it down now because his leg's forward. So what happens often is he steps his leg back to push it down. Exactly. Right. That's really easy to do. So you just be aware of that when you're in the grip fight. I'm looking for the sleeve. He pulls his hand away. Right. I go collar. Put it in the hip. Right? If he steps back and push the leg down, I rip him right into it. Okay? One more last detail because I'm just throwing a ton of info out. Uh, if we're here, sometimes the guy will get a hold of his pant leg and people think they can't do the collar drag. I'll still go for it here. You can't always get it, but when you do, it's really powerful because they're not going to post their hand. So I keep my leg elevated like this and I move and what happens is as I go, he often will hold this way too long or he tries to step over this as I go right there and he'll face plant hard, right? Um, every now and then they'll let go and post, but often when people have that grip, they're trying to like Toriando and they'll slam themselves into the position. Okay, um, so a couple of other thoughts. On a follow-up video, I was thinking about doing a video about just showing what I think are like maybe the top nine or 10 good grip entrances, like the single leg, the homolo guard, lasso, De La Hiva, reverse De La Hiva, and kind of build off of that to talk a lot about how to intro into your guard. Uh, grip fighting is a really important aspect because that's where the game starts. Ideally, when you're playing guard, 
every second of the match you should have like an agenda right it shouldn't be like okay let's just let's see what happens right a lot of people do that with their guard you want to have a clear goal like, i'm looking for the sleeve i can't get the sleeve i go for the lapel i get the lapel i have an ankle pick collar drag go to the lahiva like it should be like you know everything should be organized that's the goal and it starts with good grip fighting um also a lot of these little details i put on instagram so check it out at john thomas bjj um and also if you guys want to help out please like and share the videos and subscribe it helps thanks